Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben here, Aussie Gamer, Aussie Accent. Today we're playing some Battlefield 4 on Xbox 360. I have been playing it on PC, but obviously I'm going to stick with my Xbox 360 for now until I get the Xbox One and get Battlefield 4 on it. So, as you can see, I'm using the AK-5C with a recon class at the moment. Um, I'm The reason I'm using the AK-5C is because with a map like this, you don't want to run in with a sniper. You want to have a carbine or something. So, my suggestion for the first um, you know, tip for a soldier or as a yeah, as an infantry soldier, always use a weapon you like on a class that you might like and, you know, give your team the advantage of putting in a spawn point, unlock the spawn beacon, which I've done. Um, as you can see, I don't know why, but I haven't got hit markers in this game. But anyway, find the right gun for you. Um, I've been using support, assault, um, engineer, and sniper, and I've been finding all the classes to be really good, but there's that odd gun like the M... MX4, it's just not doing it for me, you know, so I used the MX4 for a little while and I unlocked the AK-5C. As you can see, it's doing really well for me. I've got um, the Coyote sight for it, I've got a laser sight, I've got a grip on it, and I've uh, got a good, you know, um, uh, what do you call it? A good texture on it, whatever you want to call it. I can't even remember what they call them anymore, but <clears throat> uh, as another infantry soldier, you want to try and stay in the battle, um, and you want to try and balance the teams out. Stay on the balanced teams because if you're going to be on a team and you're thrashing the shit out of it, I mean, I wish, I mean that's fun and everything, but you know, it gets boring after a while. Try and go to the other team for a bit of a challenge, um, which is another good tip. Um, as you can see right now, I'm not doing uh, a fully automatic, uh, you know, spray at them. I'm doing like a controlled burst of my own. I'm not using burst, but I'm using automatic with my own controlled burst, which is always the best way to do it if you're doing it from a distance, even if the weapon's not good at long distance. Like, this AK-5C with the Coyote Scope is amazing. I love this gun with a passion. The Org A3, that's got really good accuracy if you do the same with that as well. Um, I use those weapons mainly. I've used the AEK-971. I mean, those guns have not changed. They've gotten a little bit more powerful, but I still love all these weapons. It's so good to use. The Org A3 tops up by a lot. The Org A5... Ah, sorry, the Org A5. The AK-5C is actually a really good weapon. I do enjoy using this weapon. I This is probably one of my most used weapons at the moment. Um, I have unlocked all the weapons for... Assault, I think? Uh, which, they're really good. I've unlocked all the carbines as well. But, yeah, with the carbines, you can use it with any class. So, I suggest using a carbine with any class, like engineer, um, sniper class, uh, just to, you know, so that you don't, um, you, you don't lose score, you don't lose points, you know what I mean? Like, at the same time as getting a lot of points and unlocking guns that you want to unlock and getting kills that you want to get, getting the equipment you need, just use, you know, the carbine rifles, that's all I can say. But at the same time, um, with the weapon you want to use, try and um, spice it up a little bit, try and change between attachments and whatnot, as you can see, I'm about to unlock the hand flare, whatever the hell that use for that is, but yeah, try and spice it up a little bit, try different attachments, see what um, suits you, as you can see, uh, I've got the attachments that suit me, um, all the attachments are really good, as long as you can get the gun you find, it might not be good uh, from the beginning, but you have to work through it, see how you go with it, because that's what I've been doing. Um, also, when you're in this uh, map, try and lock up the doors as much as you can. Uh, try and not lock yourself in, but try and lock the enemy in. Um, along with some in uh, other infantry tips, get the class that's suited for you for that map. Do what you think is best to, uh, for that map. Like, I use uh, support for this map sometimes, and I put down claymores randomly, and I get kills from it, you know? Just random kills. Uh, at the same time, you can use... Sniper, uh, put down a spawn beacon that gets you points and people can spawn where they need to spawn. Um, at the same time as going assault because you can just bring in the health kits and you just leave a box there with all the um, a health kit. Just so the people can go there, pick it up and whatnot. Um, my infantry, hopefully these infantry tips have been uh, helpful for you guys. Um, I will try to bring some more videos for some more tips for you guys. Um, it, will, it won't be too easy, it will be a challenge, which is good, I like a good bit of a challenge. Um, I'll try and do, I was going to do a Levolution Guide, but since there's so many videos out there about it, I won't bother about it, but anyway, we'll see what happens. So hopefully you guys enjoy this, it has been the Aussie Gamer with the Aussie Accent, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, share the video and whatnot. Um, if you want to hit me up, hit me up on Battlelog, Xbox Live, you know my gamer tag, you know my Battlelog ID, guys. 
you know, my Facebook page and my Twitter page. So hopefully um, this has been helpful in somewhat of a way. Um, post down in the comment section below what you want next or what else do you want. Um, nothing too complicated or too complex. So I'm trying to work on simple stuff. So anyway, guys, peace out. Aussie Emma, Aussie Accent out, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.